welcome to a video on congruent and similar triangles. The goals of this video are to determine congruent triangles, determine similar triangles, and also to use similar triangles to solve problems. Congruent triangles have the same size and the same shape. Therefore, the corresponding sides have the same length and the corresponding angles are congruent. So this side is the same length as this side, this side is the same length as this side, and this side is the same length as this side. And the corresponding angles are also congruent, which means this angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle, and this angle is equal in measure to this angle. Similar triangles have the exact same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So the conditions for similarity are, number one, corresponding angles must have the same measure. So again, this angle is congruent to this angle. Those are congruent. And those are congruent. But corresponding sides are proportional, which, which means the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal. So what that's telling us is, let's say this is eight inches long and this is four inches long, the ratio between these two would be two to one. Therefore, if this was ten inches long, this would have to be five inches, and if this was twelve inches long, this would have to be six inches. The ratio stays consistent with the corresponding sides. Here's a nice visual of three similar triangles. As I animate one vertex of the large triangle, the other two triangles remain similar meaning they're the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. Again, these three triangles are similar triangles. So hopefully that gives you a feel of what similarity means. There are various other conditions that can be used to determine if triangles are similar. Number one, two triangles are similar if they have three pairs of congruent angles sometimes called angle, 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 or AAA. But actually, angle, angle is enough. So for example, here we have two triangles where two pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. However, since we know that the sum of these angles must equal 180 degrees, we could also just conclude that these two angles would equal 70 degrees. And if we have three pairs of congruent angles, this guarantees that these two triangles are similar. Number two, two triangles are similar if all three pairs of corresponding sides are proportional. So what that means is if we take one pair of corresponding sides, for example, this side nine corresponds to this side six, nine to six simplifies to the ratio of three to two. And if all the other corresponding sides maintain this ratio, they would also be proportional, and therefore we would have two similar triangles. And we can quickly see that 15 to 10 simplifies to 3 to 2, and 18 to 12 simplifies to 3 to 2. So we have three pairs of corresponding sides that are proportional. Therefore, these two triangles are similar. And lastly, two triangles are similar if two pair of corresponding sides are proportional and the included angles are congruent. So what that means is if we know this side was 15 and this side was 10, this side was 18 and this side was 12. We know these corresponding sides are proportional and because the angle formed by these two sides are congruent, this guarantees similarity and this is called side angle side or SAS. So let's take a look at a couple of problems that demonstrate those ideas. The two triangles are similar. Determine the measure of angle A and angle B. Well, let's first write in our given information. We know angle D is 35 degrees. And we know angle F is 43 degrees. And we know since they're similar, the corresponding angles are congruent. So angle C is also 43 degrees. And angle A is 35 degrees. And the question they want us to determine is angle A, which we just found. But they also want angle B, this angle here. Well, we know the sum of these angles, so what we can do is take the total sum, 180, subtract 35 degrees, that would give us 145 degrees, and then subtract 43 degrees, 
and we have 102 degrees. So the measure of angle B equals 102 degrees. Okay, on this problem we have similar triangles again. We want to determine the length of sides DE, we'll call this X, and EF, which we'll call Y. And now let's go ahead and mark the given information. CB equals 15, AC equals 9, AB equals 10, and DF equals 6. Okay, so since we know these triangles are similar, the sides are proportional. So we can set up proportions to solve for the unknowns. We know the ratio of these two sides would be 9 to 6. And that must be the same as the ratio of 10 to x. And the same thing for side y. We could set up a proportion that would say 9 to 6 must be equal to 15 to y. And now we can solve these proportions to find the length of the missing sides. So performing cross products here, we would have 9x equals 60, dividing both sides by 9. x equals 20 thirds, which is equal to 6 and 2 thirds. To solve for y, we would have 9y equals 6 times 15, which equals 90. Dividing by 9 on both sides, we have y equals 10. So we're able to solve for the missing sides because we knew the triangles were similar, which means their corresponding sides were proportional. Now let's take a look at another type of application. So for example here, we can see that this building is casting a shadow onto the grass, and so is this person standing over here. But the idea here is that the shadow forms a triangle and these two triangles are similar. Even as time passes, the length of that shadow is going to increase, but the result is two similar triangles. <coughs> so what this means is that the sides of these two triangles would be proportional. So we could write a proportion that will compare corresponding sides of these two similar triangles. Let's take a look at a problem like this. We have a tree that casts a shadow 45 feet long and at the same time, the shadow cast by a vertical three-foot stick is five feet long. So over here we have a three-foot stick which cast a shadow five feet long. And again, this shadow was 45 feet. So what we have are two similar triangles that will allow us to find the height of this tree without ever having to climb it because we know these sides are proportional. So x is to 3 as 45 is to 5. So now we can solve for the unknown by performing cross products. 5x must equal 135 dividing by 5. x equals 27 feet. So without ever having to climb this tree, we were able to use similar triangles to determine that the height of this tree is 27 feet. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.